<laughs> um, I am about six four. Well, like six three and a quarter, we'll say. Okay. And um, I weigh. Um, well, how much do I weigh? Well, I probably lost weight since I've been on the show, but I went in there like a one eighty something. Yeah, actually, we have such a great dance community in southeastern Michigan. Um, there's amazing studios around, and some of the, like, was the best dancers I've ever seen. Um, actually, runner-up Matthew Kasnizak, um, no, not Kasnizak, I don't know what his last name, I forgot. But he was on So You Think You Dance for sure. Yeah. Um and like, he, like, he did great on the show. He got third place, um, so top, like, the best guys. Oh no, um, but yeah, so it's been, um, yeah, there's a lot of great, great studios and great training um, opportunities um, in Southeast Michigan. Um, me and Whitney have been best friends since we were like eight, and just auditioning together, we were like, okay, we'll just try it this year, and then maybe hopefully next year we'll be able to make it for real. But then we both made it, and it was just so amazing, and I was so happy to have her with me, because it was just, it was helpful to have someone that you're so comfortable with there with you through that experience. Um, for me, it was this past week, um, the hip hop with Chris Scott. Um, the movement um, was a different kind of style of hip hop that I never even knew existed. So that was a huge challenge, I guess, but also the prop and the emotion that went with the dance, too. It was just a really, really big struggle. But by the time it was um, show day, I was just like, forget it. I'm just going to have fun. And so I did. It was really fun. Same for me. Mine was probably hip hop with Chris Scott. I just, it was really hard, and it was hard getting into the character of that piece. So I feel like that was probably my hardest dance on the show. Uh. <laughs> I think it's like, it goes both ways. I mean, yeah, when you get a bad critique, you kind of automatically think, oh, okay, well, I'm going home then. But at the same time, They've surprised us in a lot of ways, and it's not always predictable every single night. I um, agree with Lindsay. I mean, they know who's in the bottom already before the show starts, so that is in the back of their head. Um, and then, um, so like, while we're performing, say me and you know, Lindsay were in the bottom, while we're performing, they're thinking, should they stay, should they stay, should they stay? So, yeah, they might be a little bit harder on us just so that, you know, they can make reason to themselves maybe why who or what, who's going home, but at the same time, you really never know. I mean, this past show, they said really nice things um, to me, and it ended up going home, and same with Amelia when she went home, so it, it, you never know. Well, um, I'm hoping that from this, I mean, we're going to go on tour um, in the next couple weeks, which is going to be really fun, and then I'm hoping after that, I mean, I would love to do... TV shows, music videos, everything. I mean, I really want to be on Dancing with the Stars, so I'm hoping that that would work out for me. And for me, I would say um, I, would, I just want to keep growing and working um, as an actor or, and a dancer. Um, I'm in acting classes, so I really want to keep growing in that. Um, I would love anything like Glee or, um, I don't know, any, any kind of those like TV, the Smash, anything like that. Um, but yeah, so I just really, I just want to keep growing and keep taking class and keep auditioning and just see what it takes me. I, from this season, I would really love to do my PASO that I did the first week, just because that was in my own style and it was really fun and I feel like me and Cole did really good. Yeah, wait, that PASO was so good. Um, <laughs> but. I kind of want to do what I did my first week, Love Cat, um, the Netflix Cat's hip hop routine with the trash mm -hmm. can. Um, it was just a really good, fun way to start off the season for me. So I would like to bring that back because it was so much fun. Um, yeah, I mean, it was funny because, yeah, we both were, like, back and forth with being in the bottom. Like, if I wasn't, she was. If I was, she wasn't. So, I mean, I think, yeah, we might have been splitting votes because we were so much alike, but... I think, I don't know. I mean, we ended up being in the bottom together. So hopefully now that Whitney is staying, the people who voted for me are going to vote for her so she can win because that would be amazing, and I hope they do that. For me, I think it was my the very, very, very opening first show when it was me, the top 20. Um, we all did 
you know, small little group dances in our own genre, and Tice was my choreographer. I learned the most from him. He literally is so inspiring and just brings some things out of you that you didn't realize you did, and yeah, he's amazing. Um, I think for me, it was when we did the tribute to Mia, and I learned the addiction piece. That was just like a really hard week for me because I have so much to live up to just because the first time that piece was done, it was so amazing. But then it was just so helpful because through the week, Mia helped me like gain confidence in that piece. And then I just realized that I just had to do it to the best of my abilities and not really worry about living up to anything. The Mia week, I mean, it was hard going into that week just because we all knew that we had to live up to so much. And I think it was good and bad. I mean, it's hard because you can't ever, like, replace something. You can't ever, like, it's not like we could overdo the pieces that were already done because they were so amazing. And so it was hard because I feel like the judges are expecting a lot. And even though we gave something different, it was really hard to still, like, top the performances that had already been done. Yeah, and um, I think, like, just, it was, it was a great week, and I'm so honored to be able to be a part of that week too, let alone, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it was very hard going into it, trying to recreate a moment that was so, like, amazing on the show that was, like, live, like any other, you know, routine that we would have done. Um, so just to try to recreate that moment all over again was intimidating. I hope to see <laughs> I hope to see Matt and Audrey's Titanic piece. That was so fun. And I'm hoping that Matt will be able to come back on tour. Even though he wasn't in the top ten, I think he should come on tour with us. Yeah, I agree with that one for sure. Um, I loved what was it? Um oh, um I uh, it was this past week, uh just seeing the day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, so amazing. <laughs> Um, I would love to see that one more again, but I don't, I don't think the day can choose the all-star. I don't think he can go on to her. So maybe, like, Matt can fill in for him or something. I don't know, but I would love to see that one. Being on the show really just, like, made me appreciate, like, honestly appreciate all the other styles because they're all so different and all so hard, and you really do have to bring, like, a different vibe to every dance. And so I feel like I learned that from this show, and I learned that, like, even on the bottom dancer, if I get another style, I have to bring something to that style to make it what it is. Yeah, um, I I think it definitely broadened me. I never in a million years would imagine myself in Bollywood. Um, but it was so much fun. And, like, honestly, in a heartbeat, I would do it again. So I think it just made me more excited about my craft. It really actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> I know they make it seem like it was. <laughs> but, like, I, I'm i used to, I'm a contemporary dancer, so I'm used to being, mo like, more on the emotional side. So, especially when I'm on stage. So it's, it wasn't that hard to channel that. And the frustration of this piece itself with the movement and the style was already really hard for me. So, honestly, I just used that while I was dancing. Like, God, it's so hard. And so, like, that's literally what my face was doing while I was dancing, but it was also telling a story about what was going on in the piece. I was just, yeah, I was always down. Um, I was, I, ne I really never came home from school. Like, I would come home and just run in my room and just not come out. I was just always like, sad and, um, I don't know, I, I just wanted everyone to like me and it was hard to find that. And when I found dance, it was like literally a new me. So like, I, w I was still me. So like, I channeled all my crazy energy more in a positive way rather than a nonsense, annoying way. I think the new format was a little bit hard because it was hard doing like a performance night and having like the hype of that and then all of a sudden going straight into elimination. It was just, it was really hard emotionally every night because it was like we can never just have a night of fun performances. It was like it always ended with a sad goodbye. But I mean, I think that's just how it has to go, and it helped us all grow a lot, I think, because we had to deal with those things emotionally, and so it helped us, like, be able to cope with it much better. Yeah, I completely agree with that, and um, it's just, like, another way, I feel like the America didn't really get to, like, know us, know us, as they do maybe other seasons, where they get to see us two, two nights a week rather than just one night a week. So that was also another hard thing, but mainly, mainly because 
we were just so happy with our performance, and then boom, it kick off. We get so sad. Like it's like uh -huh. the most dream roller coaster ever. Um, probably last night they just were not very happy with my connection with my partner and just felt that's somewhere I need to grow more and so that was probably the toughest. Um, but it's good and I like criticism because then I have something to work with. Yeah, um, for me it was probably the, um, <clears throat> when I did, was it the butt dance? Or, no, or yeah, well, yeah, I think it was the butt dance with Mia. When they were just like, Will, you were in the, you need to calm down, you were too much. You know, the little cheesy thing, so that kind of, that kind of hit me right in the heart, you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, definitely, um, yeah. Probably, oh, well. probably for me, like, all the dedication, the hard work, the work ethic, like, you, if you, you didn't feel like going to work, so there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That you had to get up and go, and you know what I mean. So probably, definitely the the work ethic. For me too, it was. I learned so much, and not even just like about dancing, but just like as a person. And I feel like that's going to help me a lot in the future. I mean, we worked really hard. We had long days, um, and then also I learned just like in dancing with learning so many different styles on the show. Just I just learned that it's important just to put yourself into each piece and to really like give it all you have, and that if you work hard, you really can't do anything. I mean, I've heard rumors, but I haven't been told anything for sure. And I know that people at Play Think You Can Dance are still planning on another season. So, I mean, yes, there's rumors, and I don't know for sure, but as of right now, I'm pretty sure there's still going to be a next season, and I hope there is because. I mean, I would be so sad if they didn't have a season this year and I wasn't able to make it. And I feel that this is such a good show for dancers and it should stay around as long as possible. Yeah, um, I haven't heard any, anything official yet, but I have heard rumors. But I think those rumors are around every year, to be honest. So, you never know. <laughs>